Hi. Um, so, oh my god, Rammstein's retiring. What the hell? Um, yeah, so I'm recording from my college dorm. Um, yeah. It's kind of distressing, actually, that this is happening. Um, like, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, I'm, yeah. I just found out about this, like, I don't know if I'm a little late on the bandwagon here, but, like, my friend just told me this, like, tonight, and she's at the concert right now, and I can't be there. Um, I'm quite upset about this. Um, I'm stuck here in Massachusetts, and the only concert that they're playing in the U.S. that's been, that's up on the site right now is tonight and tomorrow night in New York City, and I can't go. Um, it, it, I'm really upset by this because it, it was on my, it's on my bucket list to, like, see them in concert before I die. You know, like, that's, ouch. But, yeah, so, you know, I don't know, I'm quite, I'm really upset about it. Um, I think that music is gonna feel this, like, hit it, you know, I think it's gonna, it's gonna feel it somewhere in its roots it might not be quite like obvious at first but i think it, it will have an effect on music you know from here on and, and you, you don't even have to like them you can hate them but you have to admit that they have had they have made an impression on music you know like they've done something for music i mean there's bands artists that i personally hate would rather listen to, like, nails on a chalkboard than listen to them, but I will admit when they do something, if they do something that will affect music, like, it doesn't happen, you know, like, I feel like a lot of music today that comes out is not necessarily like you know auto-tune auto-tuning and like has become such a generic thing that like you don't you're probably when you okay if you turn on the radio you're probably not listening if it's if it's a song that came out within the last like five ten years you're probably not listening to what they actually sound like um so that aside especially like in pop stations like what the hell but i mean if that be the case. If that being the case, if a band or an artist can do something that makes them different for once, you know, like even if it is music that I hate, if they're different in some way, like all right, you know, I'll give them credit. Like, look, okay, Kesha. I mean, I don't. Don't get me wrong. Okay, she's not that bad. Not that bad. And I say that only be like I would never listen to something like that. But like, I mean, I guess. Well, yeah, I, I'd never, I, you can, if you knew me, you wouldn't expect me to at, like that at all. But the only reason why I find her tolerable is because she's different, in a way. Like, she might be auto-tuned, I'm pretty sure she is. I'm not the person that you would go to as an expert on that, but like, you know, like, still, she... Lyrically, it's different, and that says something, you know, I, whether it's the lyrics, the sound, some of her sounds are kind of different, too, from a lot of the stuff that comes out. It's kind of got a bit of a techno vibe and sort of has that, like, kind of weird distortion going on, which is kind of cool, you know? But, like, if you look at, you know, like, I hate artists that, you know, Pardon me, but I think that Taylor Swift, pretty much every song that comes out of hers just sounds like the last one. Like, it's about, it just sounds like the same thing, about the same stuff. It's like, you know, you get bored. You know, I, I don't like music like that, you know? Like, I like stuff that's different. Um, look at, like, okay, there's, like, Rammstein. Psycho Stick's pretty cool. Um, there's, like, like him, okay? Like, they have a, pr a relatively general theme, but, like... Lyrically, they're creative, and like their sound is nice too. It's one of the few bands that's been able to stick with me for years. You know, usually I get tired of shit, especially if it's like a lot of the general like 
thrown at you every day. Like, you know, I feel like all, all the top songs now that come out on these charts, I feel like if you strung them all together on in like one strip, like one strip, and just like played it all one after the other after the other, it would just become one giant year long song. You know, it would all sound the same. And it, I hate the radio for that reason. Like most radio stations, they bother the shit out of me for that reason. Cause they play these songs over and over and over again. Like you hear the same song 10 times in one day. What the fuck is up with that? Who likes listening to something that many times in one day? Like if they're listening to the radio, they want to hear some other stuff too. They don't want, just want to hear like the same handful or like hands full of well, I say hands because it's like 10 songs. So you'd be playing the same 10 songs 10 times, like each, every, like all day. Who wants to listen to that? And that'll go on for like a week. Or like, you'll hear the same song on the radio for like 10 weeks. It's like, I don't want to hear it that many times for like two months. It's annoying, you know? Like, put some new shit up there. And like, I hate how you get all these artists. Like, I, I was just, okay. I did not, I could not find my FM transmitter in my car. This was like when I was home like two, three weeks ago. Okay, like two weeks ago. And, um, I was like driving around and I couldn't find, for a while I couldn't find my FM transmitter. I finally found where I put it. And, but I decided to listen to the radio because it got mad quiet, you know, like, and sometimes it's nice to have something going while you're driving. And I, this guy, Gabriel Iglesias or something, not the comedian, like, I don't know, but the DJ on the radio even said he's extremely, the auto-tuning was outrageous. He even made a comment that he's, like, he, even the DJ acknowledged that he was extremely auto-tuned. And I was like, oh my god. Even the, I was, I was absolutely astounded by it. I was like, holy crap, even the DJ just made a comment on it. Like, does that not say that there's something wrong? Like, you don't get good music anymore naturally. Like, they don't make anybody that's naturally talented famous anymore. I think it's a shame. Like, th it's the same thing holds true with Hollywood. There's no fucking good actors anymore. There's, like, a handful that you could probably... I could probably count them all on one fucking hand. And the rest of them are just fucking shit. Like, they suck in almost everything they do. Like, there's a few that are still, like, good traditional, like classically well-trained actors like there's like Johnny Depp there's like some of them are even dead I can't even like call them out because they're like they're dead so they're not really technically like current good actor you know like they're they're awesome but they might have just died or they died a few years ago and I'm like shit I can't even there's nothing that's gonna be coming out with them anymore because they're dead you know and like there's okay I said Johnny Depp um who else is good you know, there's a few, and there's a few that are that are pretty good. They, not everything they do is great, but some things they do are pretty good. I mean, you know, I, I guess you could say John Travolta, sort of. I haven't, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I haven't seen every movie he's been in. But you know, different people have different opinions. I mean, there's probably, I don't know, freaking, what's his face, Morgan Freeman. That guy's the man. Anyway, but like. You know, you just don't get good anything anymore. They, if you're pretty, they can make you famous. You know, it's like, what the hell? Why? Why would, why would, it, why does anyone want to promote mediocrity? Why? Anyway, back to the reason why I made this movie, or this video. It's because Rammstein has announced their retirement. I'm extremely distressed over this. I actually like... I was in shock for like a good 15, 20 minutes, and then I finally was able to like actually cry about it. Yeah, I'll admit I cried, because this really upsets me. I wanted to see them before I died, and I'm not going to get to see them because I'm stuck up here at college while they're playing like the only two nights that they're going to be in the freaking U.S. right now. Like, what the fuck? At least I hope to God that they see this or like they hear enough from the fans to come back here at least once before the tour is over. Because if they don't, I'm going to be like depressed about this for a good five Maybe even 10 years. I don't know. But it kind of sucks because that's one thing I can't cross off my fucking bucket list now. Like, shit. <laughs> what do I do? Anyway, this movie's almost 10 minutes, or video is almost 10 minutes long now, so I'm going to cut it off here. Thanks for watching. Bye.